Okay, it's 8.30, why don't we get started? First of all, welcome to this Facebook Live session. This is not the first one I've ever done, but it's the first one I've done on this page. And in fact, this page is brand new. I just put it up uh, last week during the Thanksgiving holiday. So let me tell you a little bit about myself and what this is all about. My name is Doug Knoll. I am many things. Uh, I'm professionally trained as a lawyer. I'm professionally trained as a peacemaker and a mediator. And for 22 years, I was a pretty hardcore trial lawyer, went back to school, got my master's degree in peacemaking and conflict studies, and then left the practice of law to help people solve conflicts. In 2009, with my colleague, Laurel Coffer, I started a project known as the Prison of Peace Project, where we were going into maximum security prisons, starting in California, but now around the world, training inmates who are serving life sentences, many of them murderers, to become peacemakers and mediators. And we developed a very rigorous curriculum and uh, have been doing that for the last 10 years. Now that work is extremely satisfying and it's some of the most gratifying and powerful work I've ever done, but it doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> and it's not like I was making the kind of money I made either as a full-time mediator or as a lawyer. I've also written four books. The last book was has been an Amazon bestseller. It's called Deescalate how to calm an angry person in 90 seconds or less. Uh, and the only reason I mention that is that you don't make money writing books either. <laughs> so it's done very well. But but I in 2009, I began to realize as I started the prison project that I was going to have to develop alternative revenue streams. And so that's what got me into internet marketing. Um, I started marketing my own courses, uh, a legal negotiation course, and later, uh, in 2010, a course teaching people how to de-escalate angry people. And I played with that for years and I did modestly well, not great, uh, but I learned a lot. And then earlier this year, uh, I got turned on to affiliate marketing through John Cristani and his course and uh, began to realize that internet marketing is a really important and powerful tool for everybody to consider. So what I intend to do with this particular page and with these weekly Facebook Live sessions is to bring to you what I've learned as an internet marketer and provide you with as much resources as I possibly can, mostly in the way of free training. So there's a lot of training out there that is nothing more than, they call it training, but it's really disguised sales. I'm looking for webinars that teachers that I respect um, are putting on that actually give you value. And each week, we'll, I'll, I'll feature one of those, but e also each week, I'm going to spend most of our time together talking about one aspect of internet marketing. So today, what we're going to do is go fly at 50,000 feet and look at the big picture. And then in each subsequent week, I'll take a separate specific topic and we will dive into it a little bit. I'm not here to teach you how to do things as much as I'm here to teach you what's out there so that you can figure out where you have to go to learn the skills necessary to be successful in this business. So what I'm going to do is shrink myself down and shrink up the, uh, let's see if I've got the right button here. There we go. And, and we shall begin. So every morning when I get up, uh, one of my routines is to go out. I have Google News curating my news for me, so I don't have to subscribe to a lot of newspapers. And I get news from all over the world. And this morning, I read an article from a senior contributor from Forbes magazine that caught my attention. Look at this. I predict an unprecedented crisis that will lead to the biggest wipeout of wealth in history. And most investors are completely unaware of how of the pressure building right now. This was published this morning, December 3rd, 2019 by John Malden, who's a senior contributor at Forbes magazine and a well-known economist. I've been thinking about this for a long time. And I, I have other duties in my life where I sit on investment committees. And I have been concerned that our economy has really not re ever recovered from the 2008 uh, recession and that we're heading to a huge disaster. And I'm not doing this to scare people, but just to wake us all up to the fact that the life as we know it today is probably not going to be here in a year or two. Things are going to shift really dramatically and they're going to shift for the bad. So we just need to be aware of that. And that's why I think developing alternative re revenue streams to whatever you're doing to make a living becomes something that we really have to consider. So what we're gonna cover today is 
who this is for, who, who are the people that should really think about getting into affiliate marketing or rather internet marketing, not just affiliate marketing. And what is internet marketing? What is this term? What does it mean? What does it entail? Why you should be considering internet marketing as a possibility for alternative streams of revenue and what you need to bring to the table in order to be successful as an internet entrepreneur. The two basic strategies that seem to exist in this field, the hype to avoid, because that's the biggest problem, is there's a huge amount of hype and lying and, and just miscommunication that you have to avoid. And finally, the skills and knowledge you need to develop in order to be successful. And that's what I hope to cover today. So let's jump into this. First of all, who is internet marketing for? Well, it, it's really uh, for anyone that has a desire to be an entrepreneur and is willing to accept the risk that comes along with being your own boss. Um, there are no free lunches here and there are no givens. This is a, it's a business. It's run like a business. You can make money, you can lose money. And if you're willing to accept that risk and be smart and be entrepreneurial, you have a chance at being successful. Internet marketing is for anyone who wants a shot at financial and time freedom. In later sessions, I'll talk about the success rate, which is not great in this business. And we're going to talk a lot about why that might be. But I can't find any other business that requires the low capital requirements that internet marketing requires that can give you a, a, a large return on investment if you are willing to work hard and you're a little bit lucky. This is for anybody who loves solving problems. One of the things that I found about internet marketing that I just love is that there's always a problem to be solved. There's always some issue, something that I've got to figure out. And that really keeps my mind engaged, my brain engaged. And I just love learning how to master all these skills. And there are a lot of them. It's also for anybody who is curious and loves learning new stuff. If you don't like learning, if you're not curious, internet marketing is probably not going to work for you because there is just so much to learn and master. And you don't have to master it all at once, but it does take some time. And you just have to be curious. Oh, well, why is that? Or how can I improve on this? Or why am I getting this result when I really want to get that result? That's the kind of open mindset that you have to have. So who is internet marketing probably not for? Well, I would say that it's probably for anybody, it's not for someone who wants other people to do the work. If you're not willing to do your own work, then this is probably not for you. It's also for, it's not for, internet marketing is not suited for people who are unwilling to commit time and money to a new business. I mean, it's a business and you've got to have capital and you've got to have time in order to make this work. And if you don't have the time and you don't have the capital, then this is probably not for you. If you have a generally negative attitude, this is not going to work for you because frankly, there's a lot of failure here. And you have to have an optimistic, positive attitude to work through all the challenges that you're going to see, especially in the beginning. If you don't have faith in your ability to succeed and you haven't been successful in other endeavors in your life, this is not the place to start learning how to be successful because it is an extremely challenging business. If you're content with your current life, then there's no reason for you to jump into this. Uh, if, you, if you're making a good living and you're happy doing what you're doing, then internet marketing probably isn't for you. On the other hand, if you're hungry and you're looking for financial and time freedom and you can't really go out and look for another job and you've got the time and capital to invest in exploring this, then internet marketing will probably work for you. All right, so what is internet marketing? What are we talking about exactly? Well, we all know what the internet is. The internet was conceived and started in the 1990s. Before that, it was there was the defense network, DARPANET, and eventually it has evolved into this massive interconnection around the world with anybody who has a, a mobile device, or access to the internet, they have access to just about everything that has been created by human beings. Internet marketing, as you might guess, is the business of selling goods and services via the internet. It's the sale of goods and services via the internet. And when we talk about marketing, what we're talking about is either the creation of, we'll talk about the two strategies in a moment, but it's either creating your own goods and services to sell to other people, or it's finding goods and services that other people have created and then finding customers to buy them in which, and in which case you receive a commission, just like a, uh, an agent of some kind. So that's what internet marketing is all about. 
and it is as diverse as you can possibly imagine. So why should you or I, I mean, I'm 69 years old, a lawyer, why would I consider and why should you consider internet marketing? Well, here's some things that I think about and frankly worry about a little bit. First of all, the marketable skills that you have today will probably be replaced by automation in five to 10 years. This is what's gonna happen in the law. Artificial intelligence is coming online and the prediction now is that, that there will be a, a third less lawyers in five years than there are today. And in fact, we're already seeing law schools being strained because they can't attract candidates to go into law school. And what's happening is that as, it, as artificial intelligence comes online, it is gonna take over not all of the jobs of a lawyer, but many of them requiring smaller firms, uh, less need for lawyers. And so those people who are lawyers are gonna find themselves phased out of work because artificial intelligence is going to take over a lot of the rote and mundane work of what it means to be a lawyer. And that's just in my profession. In just about every profession, every industry, every occupation, the marketable skills you have today are gonna to get replaced and it's gonna be replaced by robots and it's gonna get replaced by artificial intelligence. Just think about the impact, the effect that self-driving cars are going to have on our national economy here in the United States. And think about what the impact or the effect is gonna be on electrifying all our vehicles and no longer relying on petrochemicals, diesel and gasoline for fuel. First of all, the prediction is that most people won't own cars, at least in urban areas. They'll just call up an Uber or a Lyft or some other automated service on their smartphone and that's how they're going to get around. So. The need for automobile, the number of automobiles, the demand for that is gonna go down and car dealerships are gonna go out of business. Trucking firms are gonna go out of business. We already see this, that, that, that the need for truck drivers is, there's a huge need for truck drivers right now, but it's a bubble. We're gonna watch all of these jobs disappear with automation. And that's just one example. The other reason to think about this as, as I started this session, not meaning to scare, but simply to inform, is that a deep, long world recession is months no more than a year or two away at the most, but probably months away, probably next spring, we're gonna see something happen that, that's gonna collapse the world economy and it's gonna be a long time recovering. And what that means is that if you're in a job where in a company that suffers from an economic downturn, you will probably lose your job and it will be very difficult to find another job. So that's another reason to think about internet marketing is, is that it might give you that alternative revenue source that could save you economically if what I think is going to happen happens, which is a global depression. The other thing about internet marketing is it requires a relatively low capital investment to get started. You need, you need some money to get started here. And I'll talk more about that. But it's not like buying a McDonald's franchise where you've got to spend one or two or $3 million to get the franchise for a store. And then you'll make $800,000 a year. You can make a lot of money at McDonald's franchise restaurant, but it takes a lot of money to get in. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna make $800,000 a year in internet marketing. You might, but you might not. And But uh, the one thing that I do know is that the initial startup capital to get into internet marketing is relatively low compared to a brick and mortar store business like, like St. McDonald's. So that's another reason why we should consider it is because it's a highly leverageable business. So what do you need to bring to the table in order to be successful at internet marketing? Well, here's what I think some of the attributes are. I think you have to have a willingness to learn and there is so much to learn and overwhelm is a big problem and frustration is a big problem as you're trying to figure out how to use all of these tools that are out there and very powerful. But frankly, most of the tools that you'll be using have very poor support. They have very poor help docs and it's just a lot of experimentation and figuring stuff out and making mistakes. So if you're not willing to deal with that kind of frustration, if you're the person who needs to be spoon fed everything, probably not gonna work for you too well. As I said before, you have to be tolerant of failure, especially in the beginning. This isn't the kind of thing where you flip a switch and all of a sudden the dollars start rolling in. There will be people who will try to tell you that's going to happen, but it will not happen. I, from what I can tell, based on my experience and watching people in all of these different courses I've taken is that there are a lucky few, and it's just pure luck, where they are able to la launch a campaign of some kind and immediately get some sales and get some return on investment. 
But for most people, that doesn't happen. I didn't have that luck. And what it is, it's a slow, methodical process of building up your business to start generating revenue. You might get lucky, but probably not. So that's why you have to be tolerant of failure and be willing to take some losses in the beginning. You have to have some real realistic expectations around success. One of the things that really drives me crazy about this business is how people who are selling courses on internet marketing always show examples of how much money they made last week or last month. They have students, the the Facebook comments of how much people made. Now, first of all, I don't know whether these are true statements or not because I don't have any way of verifying it. But second, my experience has been that you don't get these kinds of results very often. And the other thing that would be very interesting in talking to these people is what is their annual revenue and how many how many times did they succeed and how many times did they fail in campaigns? They'll show you the successes, but they won't show you the failures. And they also will not show you what their operating costs are because uh, you do have operating costs that you have to spend here. So you gotta have real ex- realistic expectations. For me, I think a good realistic expectation is that from the time you take some initial training, you've gotta give yourself 18 to 24 months of working this business pretty hard in order to start seeing some success. Now, it might not take that long, but there is not a business on the planet that, that normally doesn't take about 18 months to 24 months before it starts showing a profit. So, and I think that's realistic for internet marketing too. Yes, you're working at home, you're working off your computer, you don't have a boss, but this is not something that's going to turn around and give you a lot of money really quick. Anybody that tells you that this business is get rich quick or they're trying to sell that or imply that, run like crazy. They're lying to you. They're just trying to get your money. They're trying to stimulate your greed and your desire for an easy way to make a living. That just is not happening. And I have seen some sales pitches that were really persuasive, but that was total BS because they were promising something that just can't be delivered on the internet. And that's fast profits. You've got to have a small amount of working capital or debt. So that means you either got to have a credit card that where you have some, uh, you have some, a, a line on the credit card that you can draw on, or you have a little bit of excess money every month that you can spend because what you need to do is pay for the tools, services, and advertising that you're going to need to make this work. This is marketing. And so you have to have a set of tools. For example, you have to have, you have to come onto the internet. So how are you going to do that? We'll talk about that more in a moment, but, but there, but so you have to get tools. So that means you have to uh, get a web hosting service perhaps, or you, or, and then put in WordPress, which is free, but you still have to have the web hosting service. Maybe you set up a Facebook page like I have with advice and wisdom by Doug Knoll. You have to get a, a, an email provider. And there are a bunch of different ways of doing that. But all of these things cost money and they don't all cost a huge amount of money every month, but it adds up after a while. So you might find yourself spending, as I do, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month on all of these tools. So you got to be able to afford that. And you've got to be able to do this without going too deeply into debt because you don't know how long it's going to take for you to make a profit. There are also advertising costs, whether you are doing Facebook ads or Google ads or banner ads or any of the other platforms out there, the reason the reason the internet is working so well is because the big guys like Facebook and Google have figured out that they can make billions and billions of dollars by selling ad, selling ad space to people, getting your ads in front of eyeballs of people who might be interested in your product. That costs money. Now, you'll also hear free traffic. The word traffic is the, is is the is the description of the process of getting people on the internet to come to a a, a web page for example and and get interested in buying a product or a service. Getting people to wherever you want them to get to is called driving traffic. That's the term. And there are a whole bunch of different ways of driving traffic, but there is no such thing as free traffic. You can organically drive traffic through blogging and through doing stuff on YouTube and things like Facebook Live like this, but it is a very slow growth process. It can be done, but if you but it's going to take instead of taking 18 to say 24 months as a reasonable expectation, you better be thinking in terms of years, three, four, five, six, seven years, because it takes a long time to build up organic traffic to whatever you're driving. It just takes time and that's all there is to it. So the free traffic is free in the sense that you don't pay money for it but it's not free in the sense that it takes a long time. And of course you have to invest a lot of time and effort yourself, which has a cost associated with it in order to make it happen. So as I said, the very basic tools, basic, uh, and by basic, I mean, this would include having a hosting service, 
can have a website, uh, uh, an email service, the very basic level of email service, and maybe even a very basic funnel system like ClickFunnels or Kartra is going to cost you around $200 a month. You can get by, you can't get by for much less than $200 a month. And you just have to recognize this is a cost of doing business. So it's $1,200 a year. I, you know, as you get better at it, you'll buy more tools and subscribe to more stuff and this number will go up, but it doesn't have to go up uh, except as you can afford it and you are generating revenues to support it. There is a lot of free stuff out there, a lot of free tools, a lot of free services. But whenever you sign up for a free service, it's either going to be a full service that has a very short lifespan on it before you have to subscribe, or it's going to be a service that provides you a few benefits. But if you really want to unlock the power of the tool, you're going to have to subscribe to it. And these are the various ways that people who generate these, create these tools, they get you to buy into it because they want you to experience their tool. And if you like it, you get sucked into it, then you will subscribe. And that's the way they do it. So be aware there is a lot of free stuff out there, but but there is no such thing as free in internet marketing. Everything has a cost of some kind or another. And you just have to be smart enough and discerning enough to know what that cost is. Um, okay, let's move on. So ad costs, depending upon which platform you're using and how you're doing it, your ad costs can be zero if you're working on organic traffic, just getting people that find you on the internet through Google searches, for example, or you might, you could have a budget of up to $500 a month. A general rule for me is that if you can't spend $20 a day on say a Facebook campaign or a Google campaign, you probably shouldn't be doing paid advertising just yet. You just don't get enough traffic at $5 a day or $10 a day to really give you enough data to tell you what's going on. So you got to figure hundred dollars a week. That's um, 20 bucks a day, five days a week and four weeks, you know, it's five, four or $500. And that's pretty much what you're going to have to have in order for you to get started, to be efficient about this. Anything less, it'll work, but it'll just, just go a lot slower. Okay. There are two basic strategies in the internet marketing, two ways to go about doing this. Strategy number one, and I've done them both, so I can talk about this. Strategy number one is produce and sell your own products and services. This works really, really well if you have stuff to sell. If you are an expert at something, like I'm an expert at a couple of things, and you can put together a, a course on how to teach people to do stuff, you can market that and you can sell that. And the beauty of it is that the money that you make is reimbursing, is just basically profit to you because you don't have to buy something else. All you have to do is pay for the, the advertising and you have to have the creative skills necessary to put together the system that you will dr drive people to in order to look at your product. So this is really cool. Now there, some, and so for example, the, you could be a, a soap maker and you could showcase your products on a website and use internet marketing to drive people to your website. Instead of having a, a catalog, uh, a paper catalog that you mail out to people, you have an online catalog and you have a shopping cart and people just come and buy stuff. And th this does get into the question of fulfillment, but, uh, I will just say that there is a tremendous amount of automation available on the internet now so that you don't have to do anything. If you're a, you write, here's one thing. I mean, I've written four books. So the next book I write, if I write it, uh, I have a choice of doing this. I can write the book. I can self-publish with a print-on-demand establishment. So somebody comes on to my website or my funnel. I'll talk about funnels in just a minute. They order the book. They pay for the book. I send an order to the print-on-demand publisher to print a copy of the book, like on a big Xerox machine, which is really what happens, although you know it looks like a regular book to you or me. And they print the book, package it, and ship it off. And I don't have to do anything. It works really well. So that's one way. And there's a whole whole way of doing this. And, and so fulfillment services become something that you have to learn about, especially if you're having hard products. If you just have services, you're teaching somebody how to play the ukulele or something, then you create your training videos and you set up a membership site. And there are a whole bunch of different ways to do that. And you just sell the lessons online, driving people who like ukulele, want to learn ukulele to your membership site. And they either pay a one-time fee per lesson, or you can put them on a subscription, however you want to do it. Great way to do it. And I, this is how I got into this work, doing my legal negotiation courses, my de-escalation courses, and now my parenting game changer uh, program, The New Way of Parenting. And I'll just tell you that last week, 
I launched the Parents Game Changer. I've been developing this for some time, and um, I, I've actually made three, four hundred dollars so far. Not a lot, but uh, over it's been only over four days and over the Thanksgiving holiday, and it's just an example of how if you have information and you can package it the right way, you can you can make some money out of it. The second strategy, big strategy worth 50,000 feet now is to sell other people's products and services. And this is what is known as affiliate marketing. So when you're selling other people's products, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to create anything. You don't have to have inventory on hand. You don't have to worry about fulfillment. All you have to do is find a product that you think people want and then find the people who want that product. You're acting as the go-between and put those, put the people together with the product and you will get paid a commission. And you can do, uh, people can do Amazon, they can do Walmart, they can do uh, Target. I mean, all the major retailers have affiliate affiliate programs. Uh, you can do, uh, there are affiliate networks like ClickBanks and JVZoo where you can go out and find stuff to market. You can, it's amazing how many people out there on the internet who are selling stuff have affiliate programs. For example, I have an affiliate program in some of my stuff where you can sell my stuff and I will pay you 25 to 50% of the tuition of the course if you're able to sell it. It makes sense because all my cost is in marketing. And if I save, if I if I don't have to spend, say, $500 on a $1,000 course on marketing, I just pay you the $500. And that's how affiliate marketing works, selling other people's stuff. All right, so there's some hype to avoid. So here's here, when you start seeing language like this, turn your ears off, run away, uh, don't pay any attention to it. No technical skills necessary. Well, you do have to have technical skills. It doesn't mean you have to be a JavaScript coder, for example, but you do have to be able to navigate and figure out how to use some fairly sophisticated and complex tools. I'll talk about funnels in a moment. ClickFunnels, which is a, the tool I use, is a very powerful tool for building funnels, but you've got to spend a lot of time figuring out how to use it. So although, yes, true, I am not coding, there's a huge learning curve to using ClickFunnels. And there's a huge learning curve to using your email service called an autoresponders, whether it's Aweber, or MailChimp, or I use GetResponse. There's a lot of time involved in figuring this stuff out. So when I hear no technical skills necessary, I say, nope, that's not true. We do it all for you. Not true either. I, I am taking, a, I've taken a course and I'm promoting some stuff by a, uh, a guy who I really respect, who's been very successful in this business. And he kept saying, we've done all this for you. And I downloaded the funnel because it was such a cool idea and started look, looking at it. And I realized he hadn't done 25%. And now when I go on to his, his uh, group page where people are just struggling because they haven't taken the time to learn how to use the tool and he hasn't done it for all for you. So don't find anybody who says we do it all for you because they don't. You have to learn how to do it yourself. Make money fast online. You hear about this, just forget about it. Not true. It's not fast. You can, yes, you can make money online, but you can't make it fast. So that's just a lie. Become a millionaire like these people. These kinds of headlines are appealing to your emotions and appealing to your greed and appealing to a cognitive bias called the Lake Woe Bug on effect, where you think you're better than everybody else. That is playing right into a, dec a decisional distortion in your brain to get you to buy. So run like crazy when you see that kind of stuff. Here's another one. Easiest way to make money. The thing about internet marketing is that it's easy in the sense that my commute is 10 feet from my house to my office. That's easy. And then all I have to do is sit down and work my computer. Physically easy. I'm not out there lifting bricks. But it is not an easy way to make money. So when any person says this is the easiest way to make money. Again, they are appealing to your greed and, and to the cognitive bias in you that says, that tells you your little voice, that tells you you're better than everybody else. You're better than average. You're better than Yahoo on Facebook who claimed that he just made $10,000 in three days. Just don't buy it. Use your common sense. Okay, here are the minimum skills and knowledge that you need to succeed in this business. It, again, this is my opinion. Mastery of funnels. What's a funnel? Funnels are now a big deal. They were not, they were kind of a big deal back, uh, uh, they were around in 2009, but the tools that existed then are not like what they are now. Basically, a funnel is a series of steps where you go through a series of web pages 
from being curious about a product to getting on an email list to being exposed to a bunch of different products or services or trainings through a series of steps that slowly qualifies you from being somebody who's just curious, a looky-see, to somebody who really wants to buy. And there are three primary funnel systems <coughs> in place. The oldest one uh, that I used, and I still have it on some of my websites, is called Optimized Press. And it is a it's a WordPress plugin that you pay for. It's really inexpensive compared to the other funnels that I'm going to talk about, but it takes a lot of work. And you, in order for Optimized Press to work, you have to have a website, you have to have a WordPress site, all of which is ridiculously easy to set up and relatively inexpensive. And then you buy the Optimized Press and Optimized Member plugins, which are relatively inexpensive, and you can build your funnels on your own website. Very time consuming, uh, can be a little kludgy, but it works. Another way to build a funnel is to use a product known as ClickFunnels. This was developed by Russell Brunson and some of his colleagues. He lives in Boise, Idaho. He, uh, I think ClickFunnels came out in 2015. I learned about it in 2017, and um, that's what I use today. The full, the the you can get a two-week introduction for free, and then it get then you can get a limited version for 100 bucks a month, and the full version that I have is around 400 dollars a month. But it's really effective. It has a huge learning curve to it. It's extremely powerful. But like anything powerful, it's got a lot of features and you have to take the time to learn. And the help doc their help documentation isn't always the best. So you have, to, you have to be willing to experiment and figure stuff out and see what works. The other funnel that was just came out, I think, about a year ago from uh, some guys down in the San Diego area um, is called Cartra, C-A-R-T-R-A. I looked at Cartra, but since I were... I was already heavily invested in ClickFunnels. I decided to stick with ClickFunnels. But if you're just starting out, then you should take a look at Kartra. It's a little less expensive than ClickFunnels. It has a lot of great features, and it has some features that, that ClickFunnels doesn't have. So you, want, you have to learn how to master funnels. No matter what system you use, you're going to have to take a course, take a class, take a training that teaches you how to build a website or how to use ClickFunnels so that you can... Uh, so that you can master these funnels because this is your primary selling tool. The next thing you have to learn, and you will hear this denial everywhere, is you have to learn basic copywriting. What does that mean? That means you have to learn how to write headlines. You have to learn how to write bullet points. You have to learn how to assemble what's known as a sales letter. And you have to learn how to, to create what's known as a video sales letter. Now, the thing about copywriting is I, at first it was, I'm, a, I'm obviously an author and a good writer. Uh, and I was thought that copywriting was some mystical arcane trick that was difficult to learn. Well, it's not, it takes time, but guess what? All copywriting is the same. You will see sales letters out there that look, that are almost identical word for word, except for the product they're promoting. And there are tried and true formulas for good copywriting in internet marketing. And all you have to do is learn what those formulas are and you do what Russell Brun Brunson calls funnel hacking. You can you find a funnel or a, a page that's working, and you copy the design elements uh, into ClickFunnels for if we if you're using ClickFunnels, and then copy in the copy and just change the wording to make it appropriate to whatever you're selling or whatever you're marketing. So basic copywriting takes time to learn, but it's not impossible, and it's not. The thing, uh, a thing about copywriting is you can't hire a good copywriter. Well, first of all, they're too expensive. Second, the turnaround time is takes a really, really long time. So you have to learn how to copyright. Not that difficult, but again, it's a skill you have to learn. Same thing with basic graphic design. I'm not a graphic designer. I can barely manage my way around GIMP or Photoshop or any of those graphic design programs. But today, there's so much out there that can help you tools that are free tools like Canva, for example, canva.com has some amazing free tools that allow you to build beautiful images without, with no knowledge of graphic design. The same thing is true with graphic design in internet marketing. You just copy what's working. And so that's why when you're out and about looking at stuff, you find, if you find a page that's really compelling to you and says, wow, this really makes me want to buy then what I suggest you do, it's what I do, is I copy the, the URL of that page into my Adobe, uh, my Adobe Pro, and I make an Adobe PDF file of that website, of that page, and I store it in a file. 
so that I've got copies of pages that I like. So when I have to write copy, I can go back and look at my examples and see, wow, what do I have in here that I think is really going to work for whatever it is I'm trying to market? You have to have the basic graphic design work, but again, you're stealing from other people's work. So you just have to learn how to steal and hack <laughs> and you can figure it out, but there, it's a time investment. Um, you got to have a really good email responder. There are five or six of them. The big ones are um, Aweber, MailChimp, and GetResponse. I use GetResponse. The, it's called an autoresponder because in the beginning, what these services did was allow you to have somebody come in onto an email list, and then it would automatically send out a sequence of emails to the people on the list in the order and at the times that you specified. They've become a lot more, the services they all provide now are much broader. There are Good things about email responders. There are bad things about email responders. Uh, again, it's a learning curve learning how to do this. But the truth about internet marketing is, and everybody says this, is that the money is in the list. It's in the relationship that you have with the list. So if I go out and accumulate 5,000 emails and I have a relationship with those people because I'm providing them value, such as doing things like this, when I send them an email, send them an email or a series of emails promoting a particular product or service, they're more likely to listen to me because I'm a credible source. So you stay in contact with your people through email. And a lot of people say email is dead. Furthest thing from the truth. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of, well, I'll just give you an example. I've got in this parenting game changer program that I started promoting, I sent it out to basically a series of lists that I had around 5,000 people. And of those 5,000 people I had, 11 bounces, that means the emails didn't go through and I had less than 100 unsubscribes. That means I got more than, I probably got 4,800, less than, more than 4,800 email subscribers who are at least not mad at me and dump me because I'm spam, but actually saw value in what I was providing them. Even if they didn't open the email, they saw the subject line. And you think about how full your email gets, box gets and think about, do I really want to unsubscribe from this? And you kind of hesitate because no, there might be something here of real value to me someday that I have to have and I don't want to miss it. And that's the way we all are. I'm the same way. So having a good email responder, learning how to do email marketing is a critical skill that you have to develop. Um, you're going to need a Facebook account <clears throat> because you are going to be doing Facebook ads. No question about it. You're going to, you may just have a simple personal page now, but you're going to have to learn how to do Facebook groups. You're going to have to learn how to do fan pages. Facebook, the Facebook ecosystem dominates the world today. And so you have to learn how to manage and work in that ecosystem. And it's, again, it's a learning curve. They have their policies, which are not very favorable to internet marketers. And so you have to learn how to work within their policies and, and still be effective at driving people to whatever it is you want to drive people to. And you're probably going to need a Google Ads account because Google is also the giant behemoth in search. And of course, uh, when people are searching for a search term, they're looking to solve a problem, whether it's on YouTube, or in Google search, they're looking for information. And so you want a Google ads account because if you have something out there that solves a problem, then you want people to be able to find you. So these are some of the basic skills that you have to master. And I will tell you, honestly, it can be overwhelming if you try to eat it all at once. You just take one small piece at a time and slowly you'll figure out over time. And eventually you, you look back in six months and say, wow, have I learned a lot. Okay, I've already talked about funnels. I'm not going to go in about that. I've talked about copywriting, graphic design. I put these in because I didn't know I was going to kind of talk as I went along. So that's all good. We'll just click through these. Just a quick review. All right. The bad news about all of this is that it takes time and effort to learn how to use these tools. But the good news is there's a lot of great training, a lot of it free, uh, a lot of it paid. And there are a lot of mentors out there who are willing to work with you, mostly for fees. But if you find the right mentors, they can be very, very useful. And a lot of this stuff is, there's a lot of information out there. You Google, I Google stuff all the time looking for, how do I do this? How do I do that? And it's just amazing the information that's out there if you're willing to look for it. This is why I say, if you are not willing to learn and be curious and are a self-starter, this is not going to work for you because you have to learn these skills and master them to work. Okay. And here's the most important rule that I've learned in internet marketing. More important than anything else. And I, when I violated this rule, I've had my head handed to me on a platter. The most important rule is give value to get value. I'm going to be doing these Facebook Live 
sessions every week. And every week I'm going to take on some topic about internet marketing. And if you're interested, you can comment in uh, comment and ask that I cover a comment. And every now and then I'll open it up and I'll just, I'll open it up to questions and it'll just be a question and answer period. These are free and I'm going to be giving you a lot of value. Why am I going to be giving you value? It's because I'm going to be making suggestions every now and then, like I am today, about something that I think is really useful and could be really useful to you, especially if you're a beginner. And if you take up my suggestion, you'll message me. I do everything through message for a link to a product or service that I think might be useful for your particular stage of growth in internet marketing. And if you click on that link, typically there'll be free training. And if you like the training, you might end up buying more advanced training. And if you buy that advanced training, then I make a commission. But the only way that I make money is if I give you value to get value. So I want to make sure that I give you a lot of value. And then eventually I will make money. I'll get some value back. But not until you've gotten a lot more value. And of course, with affiliate marketing, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, when you, You're going to pay the same price whether I get paid a commission or not. So just another cool way to do this. When you start looking at this as a money-making exercise and you're trying to get money from people no matter what, that's when that's not a long-term sustainable business. As in everything else, when you are in integrity, you will do well over the long term. And that's what we're looking for. Slow, profitable growth uh, with building relationships, helping people solve problems. Okay. So about the free trainings, uh, I will be promoting these um, usually three or four a month. And you just come to advice and wisdom. And by the way, I really like, if you're watching this, uh, I really appreciate a like. This is a brand new page. I, I, if you like the page, you like what you're seeing, please like it. Please subscribe to the page. One, it's a benefit to you. Two, of course, it benefits me. And three, Facebook then learns that people are liking about this. And, and it's part of the Facebook ecosystem. I get more engagement and can help more people. So please like all of this. The free trainings. All right, they are never really free. There are a lot of free trainings out there that are nothing more than what we call video sales pitches. And they'll, the, the webinar, they're mostly in webinar format and they will amp you up emotionally. They'll hit all your pain points, they'll hit all your pleasure points and they will get you amped up um, um, uh, so that at the end of the webinar, when the offer is presented, you're saying, yeah, I want that. And, and that works, I've done it myself. It, it's very effective, but it really isn't teaching you anything. So when I'm, when I'm talking about free trainings, I'm talking about webinars generally that where the presenter is actually teaching you something useful. And then at the end, making a pitch for you to buy advanced training, for example, or a, a buy a product that helps you do whatever happened in the webinar. So they're free in the sense that you don't have to pay any money. They're not free in the sense that you're always, almost always going to be getting a pitch at the end for something. And so I, that's why I, ta I talk about free trainings. I'm going to be promoting free trainings on this page. We'll be in every live session that I do, there will be at the end, there'll always be one suggestion that I have for you. But I just to be totally transparent, you've got to understand that free is sort of a relative word. All right. I am going to be curating free trainings to post on advice and wisdom. I will sometimes be talking about them in these live sessions. Sometimes I will simply have a post about it and you can pick and choose what you want as you go through these and decide what might be most useful for you in your growth uh, if you get if and when you get into internet marketing. So my suggestion to start out with is a training called the 14 day challenge. And I put in the comment in my comment in one of the comments, I put in a link where you can message me to get me the link to this. Let me tell you what this is. First of all, this is this is truly free. Well <laughs> it's truly free. It's a 14-day challenge that has put to, been put together by a guy by the name of Anthony Morrison out of Mississippi, a very well-known, high-integrity internet marketer. You go for 14 days, you spend five minutes a day, and you watch a, a short video lesson. You reflect on what you've learned in that video lesson. You post your reflection on a Facebook group. And, and, and then the next day, you repeat. And you do this for... 14 days. And at the end of 14 days, you have the basics of an internet business constructed. Now, why do I say it's free? It's free because it doesn't cost you anything. But 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 there are but there are suggestion suggested tools. And the two tools that are suggested, which I endorse, are click funnels that you can get a 14 
day free trial and $97 a month after that and get response, which is the email responder that I use. So at the appropriate time in the course, I think it's day five and day six, you're presented with an opportunity to sign up for these two tools, which are fundamental tools that you need. And you can decide whether or not you want to do that or not. If you do do that, then the free part is that you get access to these tools and I make a commission if as an affiliate commission, if you decide to subscribe to them. So the thing about the 14 day challenge is there's no hard sales pitch in here. It's just pure learning. And the idea is to build a relationship with you, get you started in affiliate marketing or internet marketing in the easiest, fastest way possible, demonstrating to you that if you only invest five minutes a day, you can build the skills that I just talked about necessary in order to be a successful online entrepreneur. So that's the 14 day challenge. And I said, the, again, this is not for everybody. I do not put links up on my posts. If you want to get this link, then message me. The met my message link is in the comment box. It's that's what you type in and you will get an immediate reply from me. I'll ask you whether or not you're interested in the link. I'll type, I'll type it in and then you say, yes, I'll get your email address and then I'll send you an email with the link to it so you can check it out and you'll it'll send you to a page and you can just opt into it or not as you as you see fit and move forward this to me is the way to start i wish this had been around when i started internet marketing because it's so clean it's so cool it's um, totally free no catches it's just a really easy on-ramp into internet marketing and you learn a tremendous amount so check out the 14-day challenge okay and as i said if you can spend five minutes a day um, you can learn how to do an internet market. All right, I'm going to open it up for questions for a moment. Since this is my first live session, I am not sure how many live people I have watching me right now. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> if you're watching the replay and you have questions, put questions in the comments and I will get right back to you. So I will just sit here for a moment and see if any questions come up about what I've talked about. And if you are listening or you're watching the replay, um, I would very much appreciate that you like this page advice and wisdom by Doug Knoll, that you like this particular live session and that you subscribe to the page so that you can get notifications when the next uh, session will come up. And as a general proposition, I want to do these once a week, usually probably Tuesday mornings at 830. So I don't see any questions coming up. I will thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest. And I hope this was educational. If there is something in here that you think could be improved upon, I would sure love to see a comment about that too, because it's Kaizen, constant, continuous improvement to get better. And with that, I'll sign off and we'll see you next week on the next live session of Advice and Wisdom. Take care.